What is up guys this is Steve back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the latest Evolution X ROM version 4.5 and this is the July 2020 build and there is a lot of controversy going around about this ROM between the developers and the community out there but I'm not really into it because this is a great ROM. I feel I pretty much stand with Stalix the developer of this ROM also known as Joe Huab. Pretty great work he has done over the past a whole year almost. I think this ROM has been really really amazing for the Redmi K20 Pro at least. So now let's start this video off and this video is not gonna be about the customizations. This is gonna be purely focused on the performance of this ROM, the gaming performance, the RAM management etc. First let me show you the about section. Before I show you that let me show you as you can see the ROM feels a lot smooth as you can see. Everything is buttery smooth over here. There is no issue at all over the UI. Let's go into the settings about section and Android version. Here in this Android version, we have the Evolution X logo up top. And then we have the Android version as Android 10. Here it says 4.5 Evolution X version, Radiant official build. The security patch is latest of July 5th, 2020. The stock kernel is Fixie kernel. The build maintainer, of course, Joe Huab. And the build date is July 7th, 2020. Here we see the build number and if you want to flash this ROM on your device let me tell you you need to be on the latest firmware which is MIUI 12.0.1.0 firmware so you need to be on that firmware if you are not on that firmware make sure to flash that particular firmware flash the ROM file and the FCRIP disabler if your storage is decrypted flashing is pretty simplistic over here not a problem just like any other ROM and use orange fox recovery latest r10.1 underscore 3 to avoid any issues now first here let me show you the stock launcher to the left we have the google now cards of course or the google's discover page swiping up gets you to the app drawer and swiping down gets you to the notification panel just like here and this evolution x i have set a uh, header image this is a custom header image this is not there by default so if you're flashing this ROM, you won't be getting annoyed or something with this evolution is logo i like it over there so yeah and i have also changed the accent colors and stuff and everything is buttery smooth here the widgets and stuff are working totally fine in the stock launcher now talking about the stock camera over here you won't be disappointed with this either as you can see this is the miui camera present by default on the camera as you just saw the front camera led and stuff works flawlessly no issues with the front camera led here and let me show you in the video section you can shoot videos up to 4k 60 fps with the back camera of course you can shoot up to 4k 60 fps so that's not a problem here and with the front camera let me show you you can shoot up to 1080p 30 fps not quite 60 there and we also get 960 fps slow mo and stuff so that is not a problem and with the stock miui camera switching between the lenses are pretty fast as you can see not a problem here at all with the like lens switching here and I have also installed Google Camera 7. If you want to install this Google Camera 7, here is a card for you. The Unix version I have been using. All the lenses are working super fine here. And night set and stuff works great with this Google Camera. Now, let me open some apps and show you guys. Let's open Chrome, File Explorer, Facebook. Just notice the app open of speeds and the animations over here. It's almost instantaneous. Let's open Google Home. Now let's open YouTube. Let's also open Spotify. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. And as you can see the whole UI stays buttery smooth here. That is what I like. And just notice the app open of speeds right here. So yeah all the apps are opening fine. Now let's open PUBG. Okay so here it has finally opened PUBG. Let's go home. Now let's open Call of Duty. And by the way, the Redmi K20 Pro I have over here is a 6GB RAM unit, not a 8GB RAM unit. So now let's go home again. Now let's open all those apps from memory again. Chrome is in memory, File Explorer is in memory, Facebook still in memory, Twitter. Okay, so Twitter reloaded I guess. Let's open Play Store, it is in memory. YouTube is in memory. Now let's open Instagram, still in memory. Spotify, okay Spotify reloaded home google home is still in memory play store again still in memory let's open pubg okay so pubg as you can see still in memory let's go home 
Call of Duty. Okay, so Call of Duty is still in memory. So yeah, pretty much I don't have any issues with the RAM management over here. As you can see, even though this is a 6 GB RAM unit, I can literally switch between apps like Call of Duty and PUBG, like between as you can see. It has both Call of Duty and PUBG in the memory. And if I go to the recent panel here, and now if I switch to any of these apps like Twitter, and as you can see, it is in memory. So yeah. The RAM management has no issues over here. It is great with the RAM management. I had no issues with the memory management or Apple speeds on this ROM. Everything is fluent and like very fast over here. Buttery smooth experience. Let me just disable the dark theme because I want to show you guys the quick settings panel. Here is how it looks like. And over here we do have a screen recorder. This is the OxygenOS kind of screen recorder. As you can see, you can shoot up to like 4k over here of course i mean you can record up to 4k and then we have the bitrate changing option and then we have the number of frames from 15 to 60 fps options are there and you can choose the audio source between internal or the microphone over here so that is great and the screen recorder should work pretty fine and here you can also add the fps counter which i'll show you in game later on so this thing is there that is what i wanted to show you guys and there is also sound search battery saver data saver etc and you can add bunch of like toggles from here you can also add heads up if you want to enable that for some time in a day and we have the camera option then volume panel and stuff a lot of quick toggles are there which you can add over here now talking about the issues only one issue that i have found over here that while charging or doing some kind of like video calls and stuff Yes, the phone was getting a bit hotter than it usually do. I don't know why, like why it is getting so hot in this ROM. As you can see the temperatures over here, this is after a video call in WhatsApp and as you can see, the temperatures were pretty high in my opinion. Even though in other ROMs too, the phone does get a little bit hot like 38, 39 degrees, but here it almost reached 42 degrees I guess. So yeah, that is pretty hot to the touch. Like when I touch the screen, I can feel the heat on the screen. Pretty much I cannot like hold my hand over there. It was that hot. So yeah, that is one point that I wanted to mention. And also while 18 watt fast charging and stuff, yes, the phone is getting quite hot. Now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here. From the always on display with the right hand thumb. Let's try with the left hand thumb now. From the always on display, of course, unlocked. Now let's try from the lock screen itself unlocked from the lock screen i feel it is really really fast as you can see unlocked and this is really really fast experience let me show you again from the lock screen unlocked now let's try with the night light turned on let me okay unlocked with the always on display right hand thumb left hand thumb always on display and night light turned on so it unlocked now let's try with the lock screen Okay, so I moved my finger quite fast, I guess. Let me try with the left hand thumb. And as you can see, with night light from the lock screen itself, it unlocked. The accuracy over here of the fingerprint scanner is almost 100%. I had no issues while unlocking with the fingerprint scanner here. Now, let me quickly set up face unlock over here. Now, let's just double tap and try to unlock the device with the face unlock. Let's swipe up and it unlocks. Let's do it again. Swipe up, unlock. So yeah, pretty fast face unlock in my opinion. Yes, it is not, what? Okay, now it unlocked. Yes, it is not like unlocking the device as soon as I double tap over here on the lock screen. But yes, you have to swipe up. That is a good thing because sometimes in your pocket, it might get double tapped on the like screen. Then it will like accidentally open the front camera and stuff that might damage the front camera. So I like this swipe up thing. Now let's talk about the battery life. Well, the battery life is not bad at all over here. The battery life is actually great. It can give you about seven plus hours of screen on time easily. And I had no issues with the battery life on this ROM. But yes, it is not too great like that AOSP extended or something. No, the, the battery life is not that great, but yes, it can definitely last you seven plus hours of screen on time a day. So yeah, no issues with one full charge and 18 watt fast charging again is working totally fine here. And as this is a Indian Redmi K20 Pro, the DRM info shows as level one here. So you won't have any problem with Netflix or Amazon Prime streaming in 1080p, I guess. And of course it passes the safety net test right out of the box. So that means you can use Google Pay or any other banking apps right out of the box here and you don't need to use magic hide or something just for the banking apps at least
Here is the Android and Geekbench code of this ROM. And there is also a system update present over here with which you can check for updates from here. Although everybody is saying this ROM is dead, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this ROM will be getting updates at least once a month in this ROM. Yes, it does have a lot of customizations of course in this like Evolution X panel, this Evolver section, we have all the customizations. The double tap to sleep on the status bar from this like brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar, everything is there and every little customizations matters. That is why the Evolution X is great with customizations. It has plenty of customizations. You won't be having any feeling like you are missing some customizations or something, except for some like the always unlock with the female scanner and stuff. Those things are not there, but yes, other than that, the customizations present out here will not disappoint you at all. Whatever you are expecting from a custom ROM, it can provide you almost everything. Like this three finger screenshot gesture, it does have that long screenshot, edit and share button. So yeah, this is the ASUS kind of screenshot and stuff. All those things are there and there is the advanced reboot too. So you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot. So yeah, in this video, I'm not going to be focusing on the customizations, but yes, all the customizations are there and they all are working totally fine here. I had no issues or any bugs that I did not notice with the customizations on this ROM. Now let's start gaming with PUBG here in the graphic settings. As you can see, I have HDR and extreme settings enabled and on the left side over here, you can see the FPS. So let's start. So starting with this Livik map, I have no idea how this map works or what's new in this, but let's go. The gameplay seems very smooth over here. Not a problem at all. Okay, so there is loot here too. So now this was quite a lot of time, at least 15 minutes or 20 minutes after playing PUBG. Let's open CPU-Z and see the battery temperature over here. So as you can see, the temperature right now is 40.2 degrees Celsius. Currently my room temperature is about 26 degrees because there is AC turned on. So yeah, 
the phone is getting quite a lot hot here let's start playing call of duty right now so here in the graphic settings as you can see this is set to very high and maximum i just turned on this bloom because i don't like that so yeah right now let's just start a match So as you just saw the gaming performance and the memory management the app winning up speeds over here in this evolution xrom is just insanely good and everything is buttery smooth over here you won't be having any problem while gaming or any other task in this rom so yeah this is pretty much my go to and it has been my go to because of this reason the stability of this rom is great comes with a lot of customizations supports 18 watt fast charging and stuff the cameras are stable on the device and all the other features are working really really well here in this evolution xrom the latest build is just amazing only the heating issue is just bothering me just a little bit so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now